Mediavilla from Criticologos.com. First, Christine and Karen, thank you for your time and congratulations on the series. Thanks for Thank you. Me. Thank you. So I, I want to start, start talking about the, the, the contrast of attitude between uh, Diane and, and, and Stu to, towards Peggy. Because Stu seems a little bit more harsh, uh, more judging, and Diane seems more, forgi more forgiven. And, you know, she understands where she's at. So I wonder, in your opinion, what is going on in, in their mind? What's their mindset when they're trying to deal with the situation? Care uh, you first? I yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, so, you know, we talked about it a lot, I think, when we, when we first met up. I mean, we were lucky enough that the three of us as actors, Patricia, Christine, and myself, we all have siblings. And so we could bring a sort of reality to, to the roles. And fortunately, we just all had, like, immediate chemistry. Um, so it felt like we had known each other forever, which was great. But I think going into it, like... You know, I approach Stuart as the baby brother of the of, of the family, um, which I think inherently brings along uh, this kind of um, you know don't forget about me sort of attitude. You know, but he's looking for role models. But Peggy has been not the best role model, <laughs> to put it mildly. You know, she's sort of um, constantly in and out of, of trouble and addiction and everything else. So I think that Stuart, because of that went the polar opposite way and he's now very sort of you know on the straight and narrow and very pragmatic and about numbers and and you know doing things the correct way and um that obviously causes some friction between he and his older sister and then diane is sort of caught in between right She's like, yeah i mean i think diane really has a soft spot for peggy like this is her big sister that sister you know relationship is a special one and i think peggy probably taught her you know how to put on makeup and you know she has these incredible memories but you know she sees that she's making all of these bad decisions but you know, wants her to succeed. And I think she's caught because Stuart it, it has, he's right. He's practical. He has good ideas. It, it does make sense to sell the house and split the profits and have Peggy really deal does. with her own life, you know? Yeah. Um, but I feel like Diane just gets, it's the tug of war and Peggy really does know how to manipulate Diane and kind of keep luring her back into her grand plan. So uh, one, one final question. I, we got to talk about working with Patricia Arquette. Was there ever a dull moment of, or set with her? And what can you say we, we, you took away with working with her? Uh, Christine, you first this time. I mean, it, you just say Patricia Arquette, and I, I think of immediately just think of her iconic roles mm -hmm. over the years and, and, and how she has created something completely new and refreshing. This is a character I've never seen on television before. Um, you know, uh, uh, her, her, she is so charismatic, you know, it, it, Patricia, and she brings that to Peggy. And I, I mean, there was never a dull moment, and there was never a moment where I didn't watch her in awe of of just her her act as the actor that she is and she's an incredible producer and like caretaker for all of us as well so it was a dream job i mean it really was so that was that's it thank you for your time and congratulations once again that was really fun thank you all right thank you